لیس علیکم جناح تب تک فتح میں رب کو دیر بی نو سم اپن یو اف یو وانٹ ٹو گیٹ دی باؤنٹی آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی بٹ ادر مین اف یو آر گوئنگ فار حج اینڈ یو ٹیک سم مرچنڈائز ود یو یو سیل اٹ دیئر یو ارن سم منی سم پروفٹ اٹس ناٹ حرام اٹس ناٹ فار بیڈن یو کین ڈو اٹ لیس علیکم جناح جب تن تب تک فتح میں رب کو فائزہ افسطم من عرفات And when you return from Arafat, فَسْقُرُ اللَّهَ إِنَّ الْمَشْعَرِ الْحَرَامِ Then you know, make zikr of Allah. Remember Allah in the Mashari al-Haram that is Musdarafah. I can't go into detail. When we return on, on the 9th, you know, of Zilhij, that is the Yawm al-Arafah. Then in the evening they return. And the night is passed as Musdarafah. And we reached, then Mina back at the morning of the 10th. That is Musdalfa Mashar al Haram. Waskuruhu kama hadakum. And you must remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as He has taught you. Not on your own. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taught you how to offer prayers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through His Messenger has taught you the method of zikr. Waskurullah kama hadakum. Don't invent, invent yourself new methods of zikr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already. given you the guidance how to remember him in kuntum min wa in kuntum min qablihi la min dhalin verily before this time you were from those people who have gone astray you had just forgotten the real spirit of hajj before islam the hajj was continuing but the, the spirit of hajj was no more there summa afidu min hayso afadun nas then you should return from where the other people return because you know the quraish they had made it a separate thing for themselves that only the other people should go to arafat we they kept staying at mina all the five days of hajj they were at mina they didn't go to arafat it's very hard going to arafat going coming back from arafat a one day journey you know it's very hard they said it is for other people who come from outside we we are the custodians of kaaba we need not go outside haram so they remained at mina Here you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says no. So maafizu min hayso afadun nas. You have also to return from the same place. From where the other people return. Was taqfirullah. And ask for the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For your mistake. For your misdeed. That you had concocted yourself. Some ideas. Inna Allah ghafuru raheem. Verily Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiving and merciful. Faiza qawaitum manasikakum. And when you have completed all your rituals, first Guru Allah ka zikrikum abaakum. Now two or three days stay at Mina. That is for zikr of Allah. And here now, first Guru Allah. Now remember Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala ka zikrikum abaakum aur shad nak zikra. As you used to remember your your forefathers, rather more strongly, you should make the zikr of Allah, not of forefathers. They have gone back. They have passed. Till ka ummatul kad khalat la ma kasabat wa lakum ma kasabtum. It was the practice of the Quraysh that they used, you know, to praise their forefathers. But here the praise is for Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Now you don't praise your forefathers, you praise Allah. You you make zikr of Allah. Fasqul Allah ka zikr ekum aaba ekum awashad da zikr. Famin al nasi man yaqulu Rabbana atina fi dunya wa baalahu fi akhirat min khalaq. Very important. There are among the people who say, even in Hajj, they pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and say, "Rabbana atina fi dunya, O oh Allah, give us everything in this world. All their prayers are concerning this world. Give us wealth, give us money, give us sons, give us this thing, give us that thing. All of this world, even at Hajj, they are praying to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala only regarding this life and this world." فَمَا لَهُ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنْ خَلَاقٍ For such a person, there will be no share in the hereafter. Because all his intentions, they are concerned with this world. And he is praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the goods of this life and this world also. So in akhirah, in the hereafter, there will be no reward, no, no share. وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَقُولُ رَبَّنَا عَتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً وَقِنَا عَذَابَ اللَّهِ And from among there are those people also who say, 
O oh Lord, O oh our Lord, give us the goods of this world also and the good of the Akhra, of the hereafter also. And save us from the punishment of fire. They are the people for whom there will be share from which they have earned. They will be able to partake from their earnings. Why part? Why not the whole? Because it will depend upon the sincerity, the amount of sincerity. If a person is 100% sincere in his good deeds, then he will get the 100% reward. But if his sincerity is somewhat polluted, then you know the reward also will be diminished. But anyhow of the good deeds a person would have if he is really praying for it and he has the intention of having goods of Akhira, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them some share of their earnings. Wallahu sariul hisab and Allah is very swift in reckoning. Waskurullah fi ayami ma'adudat. Now note the same word ayami ma'adudat which appeared concerning the psalm. Ayam ma'adudat. Here ayam ma'adudat again appears and it is for two days or three days. Waskurullah fi ayami ma'adudat. And remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during those numbered days that is the stay at Mina. Faman ta'ajjala fi yawmain. Whosoever returns early. After only two days, Fala Ismaile, there is no sin on him. He is not to blame. Woman Taakhara, who delayed for one day, Fala Ismaile, there is no sin on him also. Le Manit Taqa, provided they have taqwa. Otherwise, you might be staying for a month over there. But if there is no taqwa, to what avail? To what use? Nothing. So, if you have taqwa, if you have stayed for two days, it's okay. If you have stayed for three days, okay. But if you don't have taqwa, you might have stayed there for a month of no avail. But taqullah wa'alamu annakum ilayhi tu'asharoon. And have regard for Allah. Fear Him. Fear that you will have to explain everything to Him on the Day of Judgment. Wa'alamu and keep it in mind. Annakum ilayhi tu'asharoon. That you will be gathered before Him. You will be gathered before him.